Okay, we're with Ailey Child, an ambassador for SSE, and we're looking ahead to Glasgow 2014. It's been a while coming round, it seems maybe Ailey, but can you take us back to 2007? Where were you when it was announced that Glasgow had won the won the hosting? Yeah, well, I was actually uh, in the fruit market at the announcement because my mum had actually won a, she'd won a competition in the Sun newspaper to actually go, so she got two tickets to go along, so her and I went along, and uh, yeah, just such a great experience to sort of be in amongst everybody, you know, there was quite a few people from Scottish athletics there, like Leslie Roy and things like that, and yeah, just to see the kind of excitement on everybody's face, you know, when we got the announcement, it was just incredible. So was there a big light bulb going off above your head saying, I want to be there? Was it realistic at that time? Yeah, I mean, it was. Um, I mean, at that point, it, it did seem so far away that I thought, yeah, well, I'll, I'll be, you know, 27 when, when that comes around, I'll be in my peak, I'll be there, you know, um, but that's not necessarily, you know, how the plan goes. But I definitely thought, yep, I, I want to be there. I don't want to miss that. And of course, now as we get closer to it, you're feeling that wave of, of Scottish support. We've already experienced it just in a fraction, in a sense, at the Emirates uh, for the Glasgow International. And I think it actually did improve performances that day. Yeah, it did, definitely. I mean, you just heard the sort of roar as the sort of Scottish athletes were announced. And, and that's just, you know, an amazing feeling to have. And, you know, we experienced that in London and to have it kind of in Scotland as well. And, you know, the Emirates... It's obviously on a smaller scale than Hamden will be, so that was just a small taster of what we're going to get when it actually comes to the games. So yeah, I think it's just going to be incredible, and I think just to use that support um, will really benefit the home athletes. And I think possibly with your experience, having been to a number of uh, championships now, what, what kind of advice can you give to some of the younger members of the team, maybe there for their, their very first uh, competition? Yeah, I mean, for the younger ones, just don't get too carried away because, you know, because you're a Scottish athlete, people will want to put medals around your neck. They'll want to tell you you can do this and this. And it is about remembering what your own goals are. You'll have your team around you, your coach and, you know, various other people, and you know what your goals and targets are. So it's about enjoying the whole experience and, and going there with your own goals and your own aims and don't get too, you know, carried away, don't get, you know, too nervous with the pressure and anything like that, just go and, and really enjoy it. And that's what I want to do. I want to enjoy the whole Commonwealth experience. And, you know, so come August, I can just look back with fond memories on Glasgow. There is almost a balancing act for you as athletes, though, then, isn't there? Because you've got to focus really hard, but you do want to feed off the excitement. And we know it will be pretty special, I would imagine, for people like your parents who've been with you every step of the way. And, and also, I suppose, for friends who come to watch you compete that might never have been to an athletics event before. Yeah, well, that is the nice thing. You know, normally if you're sort of competing at a championship, you know, your mum and dad will maybe try and come over, but to have, like, mums, dads, aunties, uncles, friends who, you know, wouldn't come over and see you or, or um, you know, come to races abroad, it's great to have that there and have that extra support. And, yeah, I think it's just it's really nice. And, you know, any added support, I think, can be a benefit for the athletes.